Dr. Piu Kurdeng lectures at Upper Nile University. He is also the chairperson of the Academic Staff Association at the institution. Dr. Piu says they have laid down their tools due to low pay and poor working conditions. So our agreement in 2019, our salary will be adjusted based on the central bank rate. So we're expecting that also to be increased. And uh, we're expecting also from the government to avoid this issue, to stabilize the current rate of the central bank of South Sudan. So it will not be affected for us and also for our people in South Sudan. Western Bargazal University staff are also on strike. South Sudan's economy continues to struggle due to many years of civil war, corruption, and the COVID-19 pandemic. There are five public universities in South Sudan. The government says it is working on finding a lasting solution to the challenges faced by all those universities. The lecturer's situation represents that of many of the civil servants in South Sudan, and the protest has left students worried. It's affecting us a lot because we have not been receiving our lectures. We have just been sitting at home, and even we are supposed to be doing our continuous assessment tests, but they have been postponed because of this strike. If the government doesn't respond uh, quickly, on time, you know, most of our lecturers, they may even go and look for other opportunities. And if they go, who will teach us? As inflation continues to bite hard, prices of basic goods keep rising beyond the reach of ordinary persons. Dr. Pio Kurdeng and many of his colleagues say their one-month salary is not adequate enough to meet the daily needs of their families.